Good morning guys, it's Jason with JW Classic VW and what do you do on a gorgeous Sunday morning? Well, you go for a cruise. So I'm gonna take Goose out for a little ride, let you guys listen to the engine and uh, kind of give you a, a view of what it looks like now that I got it all in the car. I got the rear deck lid back on and the tin in place. So enjoy the ride. First stop is uh, the gas station. I'm almost out of fuel. <laughs> Hopefully we make it there, it's right around the corner. <laughs> all right guys, enjoy the ride. See you guys, my light works. Oh, you can't see it. Check it out. Light works. Alright. Seatbelt, gas station. Let's go. Where did I set my keys down? Man, you know what? I swear to goodness. Alright, we got the keys, we can go. <laughs> Seatbelt. You gotta make it down to the gas station. Good pump. Um.
to kind of touch base and go over thing with the uh, the engine build. The uh, did my best to stay within the budget. The budget was initially like a two thousand dollar budget to build this engine, which I broke that pretty quick. Uh, I would say all in all together, probably between three thousand and thirty five hundred is where I ended up spending because of just like the little odds and ends that you end up having to get to uh to complete the build but uh well worth it she sounds great um running really good there there has been some hiccups here and there but I've, I've learned a lot this is my first big block build and i learned a lot the uh the engine itself is a 2276 if you haven't been following the uh, the big block build or the budget big block build uh for those of my uh those they have been following i've seen all kinds of good stuff fourth video is coming out soon It'll, it'll be, you'll, you'll probably have already, it's probably already been released by the release of this video because I plan on releasing this video after uh, video four comes out. Video five will be the last of the installments where uh, I show the um, the attempt to get it started the first time. And uh, I'm going to kind of give you guys a little bit of spoiler right now. The, the fifth video and the, uh, the attempt to get it started didn't go so great because the carburetors that I ordered were, uh, were not ordered the carburetors that I got off of Facebook through uh, one of the uh, for sale groups or somebody that had posted a, a set of 44s for sale they were all gummed up they had been sitting around for a while which we know it happens with the gas that we get these days I wouldn't say it's anybody's fault uh, just the uh, I had to take them all apart clean them all out rejet them had to jet them correctly for a two liter which uh, that's what we're running so we had to jet it correctly for that the uh, I'll, I'll go over some of that and the, the tuning process and timing uh, how to, to time and sync your carbs. There's some videos out there, but I kind of think that they leave some stuff out. I know because I went through that stuff that was left out, figured it out. The, the, uh, it's been a journey. This, uh, the building this engine has been a journey. I finally got it back in the car and I'm super happy about it. That's, uh, you know, I didn't want to like take forever doing it. And some guys, you know, or, or some guys, some ladies, whatever, they, uh, they, they, you know, it can take a long time to build an engine, and man, I want to drive my car. <laughs> the beautiful days like today were just killing me not being able to drive it. So, but let's go ahead and get back to the uh, the test drive, and uh, you know, you guys can enjoy the the cruise. And she sounds great. I probably still have to get some of my timing right. There's there's still more power in this engine. And I think that once I upgrade to a, a Magnus Spark, uh, one of the Magnus Spark twos from. Uh, uh, TV performance or the Pentron Pentronics or something like that Pentronics or uh, three stage three or level three uh, either one of those ignition systems will give me the the hotter spark that I need to to uh, really bring this thing to life to like, to another level and you know with anything else it's a uh, it's a uh, air to fuel mix ratio I haven't adjusted that yet it's still at the, the base adjustment on that I also uh, know that the my valves are at zero last right now which it's running great the valve train is pretty quiet so i'll probably keep it at that but there's just there's a bunch of little things to go through and, and fine tune your engine i would say that for anybody that's working on a volkswagen or anything that's a of this age you know older cars you're gonna be working on these things all the time so i'm, I'm constantly getting the uh the uh the feedback from my 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 girl my kids when's it gonna be done when's the project gonna be done i'm like it's never gonna be done. <laughs> All right, guys, back to the road, back to the cruise. Here we go.
76. Yeah, that's what I used to have in this one. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in to another uh, video from uh, JW Classic VW. Uh, gonna have my decals out soon, so if you're interested in a decal, hit me up in the comments. Uh, I've got my address updated as well, so if you have stickers you wanna send me, go ahead and send me your stickers, and I'll put them up on the board. The 29th uh, annual Monumental Bug Show will be here in the Seabrook area. That's right down the road from where I live, so I'll be there on the 5th of May. So if you're out there, stop by and say hi. Uh, once again, thank you for tuning in. If you're a new subscriber, thanks for hitting that subscribe button. And uh, don't forget to hit the, the little uh, bell off to the side for updates on my content. Fourth video should be out already. I'm hoping it's out already on the, uh, the big block build. So uh, check that out. And fifth video coming pretty soon. All right, guys. Jason from JW Classic VW, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.